Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor and I'm a Sony Imaging Ambassador and I'd like to talk to you about Back Button AF or Back Button Focus as it's known. Now by default if we half press the shutter release on a Sony Alpha camera the focus system engages. Now we also have an AF on button on the back of some Sony cameras. This is a way of starting the AF without having to half press the shutter release. Now just holding down that AF on button is not a back button autofocus workflow. We actually have to take an additional step in order to convert the standard workflow into the back button workflow. Now you will find a menu item in the AF menus of the Sony cameras called uh, AF with shutter and it's on by default. Now if you're going to set up a back button autofocus workflow first you need to assign a custom key to AF on if you don't have an AF on button. Two, switch the AF with shutter to off and third set the uh, focus mode to continuous AF or AFC. Now uh, people will ask uh, Mark are you promoting this back button autofocus as superior and the answer is uh, I actually don't use a back button autofocus workflow I use the standard setup. Second question would be would you advise somebody who is currently using back button autofocus to stop using that workflow and the answer to that again is no if you're used to that workflow carry on using that workflow. And third would I uh, promote um, back button autofocus as a superior workflow for new alpha users and the answer again is no. Now some people will promote back button AF as a, as a game changer. They will say it's the best thing since sliced bread. Now there was a point in time where we're talking about the older DSLRs now where AF systems weren't nearly as sophisticated as they are now. So we, we used to leverage some advantages uh, to using a back button autofocus uh, workflow and those four reasons are the uh, it's easy to lock focus and when we don't want the focus to move we simply let go of the AF on button. It's easy to swap between auto and manual focus. Again, if we don't want the focus system moving focus unnecessarily, we're just not holding down the AF on button. Uh, easily prevent focus areas. Now, often uh, before modern tracking and lock on features, it was quite easy for um, uh, when we're following a subject for the focus to be erratic and jump to maybe a subject that's closer to the camera. And fourth, easily swap between continuous autofocus and single shot AF. Now, do any of these four reasons that I've just mentioned prevent Sony's default AF setup from doing its job efficiently, i.e. when focus is linked to the shutter release button? Let's take a look in greater detail at why perhaps you don't need to use back button autofocus with modern Sony cameras. First reason is on most of my Sony cameras I have an AF MF switch. So if I don't want uh, to be using continuous autofocus I can just switch to manual focus on the lens. That is very quick and easy. I don't have to release an AF on button. Okay, I can basically uh, get rid of uh, AF on the shutter release just by switching over to manual focus on the lens. I also have on most of my Sony lenses a focus hold button. This is like the opposite of a back button autofocus workflow in that if the continuous focus is engaging and I want it to stop, I just depress that focus hold button and that stops the autofocus in its tracks. It's the opposite of back button autofocus where we need to hold a custom key down to constantly engage the autofocus. So with the focus hold button we press it to disengage the autofocus. Now if your lens doesn't have a focus hold button you can easily assign a custom key on the back of the camera such as the AEL key as a focus hold button. So that's probably one reason that you don't need to go into a back button autofocus workflow if you want to stop continuous autofocus in its tracks. 
Now there is another focus mode on the Sony Alpha cameras called DMF or Direct Manual Focus. This is a, a way of quickly moving uh, out of autofocus into manual focus without actually switching an autofocus manual focus lever on the lens. And the way this works is that if we're focusing on a subject and um, we're in the DMF focus mode, if the focus pulls to um, a near point of the subject, such as the nose on this monkey, I can quickly turn the, uh, the focus ring on the lens and this allows me to manually focus to fine tune. If I link the um, DMF to focus assist, it also magnifies the view in the EVF or on the monitor so that I can easily uh, ascertain whether I've got sharp focus on that monkey's eye. If you don't want to switch from say AFS or uh, continuous autofocus into the DMF focus mode, you can also set this up as a recall custom hold feature. Again, you could assign a custom key so you can quickly depart from using continuous autofocus into using DMF. If I'm holding down my recall custom hold key that I've assigned to DMF, I simply half press the shutter release, it locks focus on the subject, I turn the focus ring on the lens, it enters manual focus with magnified view, and then I fine tune that focus. Focus. Let's look at some other um, advanced um, focus features that probably mean that we're not leveraging as much or anything at all from adopting a back button autofocus workflow. With older focus systems, um, the focus could be erratic and often uh, we would find continuous focus systems trying to focus when a subject is actually static. Um, we don't tend to hunt backwards and forwards on Sony lenses uh, with Sony AF systems anymore. So we could reliably put a spot AF point on a static subject and then quickly be able to track that across the screen um, using just one of the lock on or AF tracking options. When, as again, we're not leveraging as much uh, performance advantages as we used to on older AF systems. We can also uh, target a subject that's not front and center in the viewfinder or on the monitor. We can push a focus point back to a subject that's behind another subject that is actually nearer. And most of the time, the tracking is very reliable on the modern Sony Alpha cameras. Uh, we do have the option of using touch uh, focus now, touch tracking. So if IAF or um, we have trouble um, uh, pinpointing um, a spot AF point on a subject, we could just touch the monitor to start tracking that particular subject. We also have things like IAF and animal IAF that uh, basically are modern um, uh, advantages to the autofocus systems that weren't there when the back button autofocus did offer certain advantages to certain photographers. So if you did want to try out the back button autofocus workflow, you might ask the question, will I lose anything by adopting this workflow rather than the standard workflow? And I do need to point out that if you're holding down the AF on button, then you won't be able to move the focus point whilst maintaining uh, autofocus. You will have to let go of the AF on button to maybe get go to the multi-selector or joystick to move that focus point. So you won't be able to do both of the things at the same time because you only have one thumb. Same thing with the recall custom hold. If you uh, like using that feature and you've assigned it to a custom key, you're gonna have to take your finger off the AF on button to press a recall custom hold uh, or maybe an IAF uh, button that you've assigned uh, to the back of the camera. So uh, we also um, may restrict the point and shoot capability of our sophisticated mirrorless cameras. And I'll show a slide to um, basically explain what I mean there. So let's look at some of the, uh, the modern AF features that are starting to appear on some of the very latest cameras, such as the Alpha 9.2 and the Alpha 7R4 cameras. And that is if we're using um, uh, the tracking, touch tracking, we can actually use the touchpad as we're tracking a subject when we're using the electronic viewfinder just to retarget an alternative subject. Now, obviously, if we're using the monitor as a touchpad, we can't be holding down the AF on button at the same time. So having the focus linked to the shutter release is a certain advantage if we want to target different subjects while we're tracking with AF on. 
The other thing I mentioned earlier was the recall custom hold. You can work around this by including AF on as one of the options of your recall custom hold so you don't lose the AF on capability by letting go of the AF on button to press a recall custom hold key. And finally, this is what I mentioned about the point and shoot capability. Now, occasionally when uh, I've set up my camera, it's very inappropriate to uh, hand the camera to someone else, maybe to take a picture of me and my partner, uh, because the, the settings uh, may be a little bit too advanced uh, for somebody just to point and shoot. So typically what I'll do is I'll move the shoot mode dial to auto and then hand over the camera. But if I've adopted a back button auto focus work, Workflow, I'm going to have to explain to them that they have to hold down this button on the back of the camera and then press the shutter release at the same time. So it's a little bit more complicated than point and shoot. Just those questions one more time. Do I use back button personally? No, I don't. Do I recommend it to um, for, for back button autofocus users to stop using it? No, I don't. Uh, as long as you're aware of that one uh, major disadvantage is you can't uh, move the focus point while focusing at the same time. And uh, do I recommend back button autofocus for new alpha owners? No, I don't because you're not going to be leveraging any additional performance by adopting that workflow. Just remember to uh, head over to my website, uh, markgaylor.com. I've got a lot of learning resources uh, on this website that are free to download, such as uh, one of these many eBooks. Um, these are usually 400 page eBooks with links to over 40 video tutorials to help you master your camera. As I said, these are free to download and then I just invite you to donate what you think they're worth. I also have a Patreon um, uh, platform. So if you're wanting to engage with me uh, in Q&A forums, message me privately, um, watch uh, one hour seminars each month, uh, then the Patreon site is something that I highly recommend for you. So I'm Mark Gaylor, uh, Sony Imaging Ambassador. Uh, just uh, remember to subscribe, give me the thumbs up, and uh, I'll catch you online next time.